I just always thought my life would be dance. I just loved, loved it. And then something really strange started happening. The more exercise I did, the weaker I got. And my skin turned really kind of a brown, yellowish color. I actually was nearing the end stages of Addison's disease, which is an adrenal disorder. It took me several years to really understand that I wasn't gonna be a dancer again, ever, which completely changed my life. Before I got sick, I remember defining myself by different things I did. And I remember realizing that God saw me as someone that was worthwhile as a soul, not worthwhile because I had accomplished this or done this or not done this. And then I remember I realized that I was still me and I was still a value, even though I couldn't really accomplish much at all for several years. I was living in the city and it was summer. It was so, so, so hot. It was a time in fashion when skin was in. I would wear t-shirts under a sundress and I was dating a guy and he decided he was gonna break up with me and what he said when he broke up, he just said, anyone that would wear a t-shirt under the sundress just doesn't see the world like I see the world. And so, <laughs> so we broke up. You know, thanks to him, it made me think that someone needed to create dresses with sleeves that always had sleeves. So I actually bought a book on the internet called Fashion Design for Dummies and I decided I was gonna do this. We try to create clothing that looks good on women of lots of different sizes and shapes. And I think one of the biggest mistakes that we women can make is think that we have to be beautiful in only one way. So I run about 80% of my business from the phone. And I email our programming team in India. And then I'm emailing our production team in Guatemala, and then I'm emailing our other production team in Virginia, and then I'm emailing our warehouse in Salt Lake City, and then we have some marketers in California. This is the Shabby Apple crew. They do everything from shipping to returns to keeping people happy, which can be a hard job. A lot of people in my family do business, and I was the last one my parents ever thought would be a business person. When it started, they would be shipping 15 orders a week. And now we're shipping thousands and thousands of orders a week. My husband and I are starting a family soon, and um, we're really excited to move on to that part of our life. I think that no one gets through the, their life without some sort of pain or disappointment. And I believe a lot of happiness is determined by choosing fear or choosing faith. My name is Athelia Woolley Lasweer. I am a fashion designer and a business owner. I'm always looking for inspiration. I am a dance lover. I believe in failure. I really believe in failure. I believe that all women can be beautiful. And I'm a Mormon.